Hey, what's up? It's fucking Chanel, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be listening to Full of Hell and the Bodies collaboration split. One day you will ache like I ache. This is um, pretty much only available from the bands on tour and probably on both bands' web uh, band camp uh, websites. But the um, vinyl release is a little bit different than the um, CD and digital release. It has two different songs release and be free and accept the pain instead of uh um i forget what the other songs are i'm pretty sure that's what it is i forget if i'm wrong i'm sorry um i should have made notes but um this record is what i imagine if there was a such thing as hell this is what hell would sound like like listen to this it's everything I love about Fool of Hell and everything I love about the body all in one. So if you're ever... Dude, Fool of Hell is touring with Entombed AD. I know it's not the original lineup, but if they still have this in stock, I suggest grabbing this and the Merz Bow split. Along with... Um, Pretty much like their, uh, you know, more power violence and grindy material, which is amazing. Like, uh, Roots and stuff. Like, that's a great fucking record. And, uh, trying to, I forget the other one's name off the top of my head. And I forget that one's name. It's like Roots of something. Roots of Badass is what it should be called. But, anyways, this is a great record. Highly recommend it if you're a fan of the body, if you're a fan of Full of Hell, but if you expect just, you know, a grindy Full of Hell, you're not going to get that. You're going to get the most hateful, noisy, ugly, in a good way, fucking record. Speaking of ugly... This is one of my favorite albums, well, it's an EP, but one of my favorite albums is 2016. This is the new Agoraphobic Nosebleed ARC EP, and um, this is not your typical Agoraphobic Nosebleed. This is not a grind record at all. I know I've reviewed this before, um, but that was like a year ago, so I want to look at this with fresh eyes, and it's still fucking amazing. Like. This came out in like February, so it was an early release, but like, it's a record I, I keep coming back to, like, I, I just, I mean, I, I love it so much, like, the artwork's amazing, the lyrical content right now is very relatable with me and my father who has dementia, and this whole record's pretty much a concept record about Kat from uh, Agoraphobic. She's the female that does vocals for them. And pretty much it's about her and her mother um, dying under um, schizophrenia and I'm pretty sure cancer is what actually took her out, but there's this gnarly sick bed photo. Like pretty much this is like a straight up I Hate God, Black Sabbath, Melvins, and Crowbar worship record. It even says, uh, thank you Jimmy Bauer for the guitar tone help. So that rules. But supposedly Agoraphobic Nosebleed, every member is going to be recording an EP. So I'm guessing Scott Hall is going to be Power Violence. And um, Jay Randall, who the fuck knows what Jay Randall's gonna do, but the lyrics are arranged by JR from Pig Destroyer, so you know, you're getting really, really heavy, like, in more than just like how heavy the record is. You have some very, very, like, serious subject matter here, and Like I said, it's it's kind of, it's a little haunting at uh, times, to be honest, because I read this stuff now, 
and I compare it to what I'm going through with helping my mother with my sick father and you know I, I, I can relate to like these lyrics you know like too late the light left your hand twitched warm still I cried your name forgive me for not being there too late I hate that you went without me unaware I cried your name forgive me for not being there too late blush left a yellow hue a frame so thin I cried your name a cold room the TV buzz, a nurse who barely knew your name, your living face. Forgive me for being too late. That's on the track, Deathbed. Just, like I said, this is a very heavy album in every sense of the word. And it's also very enjoyable. Like, as with most agoraphobic nosebleed records, it's kind of a joke, you know? Like, Agorapocalypse was fucking phenomenal. And this just continues the amazingness. I would do anything to be just these three tracks live. I would kill for that. Like, here's some more lyrics real quick. Um, I stood at every angle to make this moment real. Remembered her hands or my hands. Studied her stopped heart open arced peel. I stood at every angle to make this moment real. Fingered a scar that gave her that never wholly healed. Stroked and brushed her brow of sinery strands. I stood at every angle to make this moment real. Remember, remembered her hands or my hands. And there's, I can't really see it, but there's like this creepy house. And I'm pretty sure, um, uh, just... This is going to make a lot of album of the year list. I just want to remind you guys that this exists. So, it's a 10 out of 10 record. If you like sludge or like doomy shit at all, you need this in your collection. Especially if you're an I Hate God fan. You really fucking need this album. And now, for Halloween, I was going to do its own separate video, which I might... But a lot of my VHS tapes and DVDs are not here, so first off, just so you guys know, in case you forget, they did make an Evil Dead video game for PlayStation. It was double disc. I have one of the discs hanging on my wall, but it's called Hail to the King, and it's a piece of shit. Oh, I found an Agent Failure demo underneath. That's sick. I was in that project with uh, Mark DeVita. It was good. But let's talk about one of the greatest horror films of all time. And that is Evil Dead 2. This is a VHS copy, obviously. Now, a lot of people don't like this film because they just claim it's a remake of the original. But a lot of people like this more than the original. The original is what it is. It's a great fucking film. It's a great horror film. And it could have been really, really scary. And if you saw the remake, you know they made it really, really, really over the top brutal. I mean, the original and this is gory. But, like, holy shit. The remake was just vicious. And when it comes to, like, remakes... I actually could sit through the whole, I sat through the whole movie and barely complained. Now, after Evil Dead 2 comes Army of Darkness, and Army of Darkness is when they just stop taking shit seriously. It's, a, again, a great film. Bruce Campbell kills it, as always, in the Evil Dead shit. If you watch Ash vs. Evil Dead on Stars, this is more of what that is. You have the comedy. Like, this isn't even a horror film, really. It's a comedy. And if you watch Evil Dead, the original, and then this, and then this, you're going to be very confused. Like, just on what kind of film you just watched. Like... Was that just horror? Am I supposed to laugh? 
and with Evil Dead 2, some of the violence and uh, just the shit that happens, it's, it's fucking funny. If you don't laugh, you don't have a sense of humor whatsoever. But it pretty much goes over the first film in five minutes. And then it's pretty much a redo, but it's a sequel. So, if you've never seen Evil Dead 2, you're fucking up big time. But since I live in Pennsylvania, but on the other side from where this gem was filmed, I love Dawn of the Dead and the European cut zombie way, way better than the original Night of the Living Dead. But I'm from Pennsylvania. This is where the zombie genre, in my opinion, officially started, was with Night of the Living Dead. And the cool thing about Night of the Living Dead is, I can just go and publish my own, you know, version of this film. Because unless George Romero, like, bought it back, this is, um, public domain. Which is weird, because it's such a classic fucking film, and... The fact that it's public domain, or at least was for a period of time, is crazy. Like, there's so many different versions of this, like, film. Um, if you go on James Ralph's, uh, Cinemassacre channel, they, they pretty much talk about, like, uh, they have a whole video on, like, public domain horror and shit. And, like, this right here is, um... A 1990 version, um, and it's from Good Times Videos, who, uh, actually released a fucking ton of badass horror, but different artwork than you'll see. If you see, like, the actual, like, the girl's face, and it will say, like, the like George, R like, you could tell the ones George Romero actually endorses. But this right here is not one of them. But it's still, it's amazing. This is the unedited version, uncut. But it's great. And uh, yeah, I also found the PlayStation Pix. That's the first disc, the demo disc that came with the PlayStation 1, which is kind of cool to find that. But anyways, um, I'm gonna do some top five horror later and uh, maybe do another uh, record review. I'm not sure. But um, thanks everybody who is new to the channel and is subscribing and not trolling. I appreciate it more more than you know. I mean, this stuff, it, it is expensive. Like, going to shows and then buying records, it's not cheap. And eating Belvita banana bread is just delicious and so is drinking coffee but I'm not doing this to make money I don't have it set up so you know there's ads on my videos that if you watch or if you subscribe or if I have enough likes I get paid I do this for fun I, I like making these videos for you guys now that people are starting to actually realize that, like, hey, these videos don't really suck. It's just a bunch of assholes trolling this kid and they understand the situation. Shit is getting a lot better. Videos are going to start being edited legitimately. And it's going to be dope. So, make every day Halloween. Hope you guys have a good morning. It's Friday. Fucking A. So, um... I'm going to finish my coffee, upload this video. I hope you guys, you know, check out my recommendations. Uh, again, full hell in the body. One day you will ache like I ache. And, sorry, agoraphobic nosebleed arc on relapsed records. This is an EP, by the way, but it's not a 7-inch. It's 12. So, this is in an insane color. It's like plum with like some like crazy red streaks and this is just on plain black i got it repo records and yeah thanks for watching you know click subscribe the more subscribers the better these videos are gonna be so peace pussy see you guys thank you again